so I got a master number five here. Um, the zip ties that you can see here are because I'm doing something to this lock specific for, for somebody that wanted to see the inside of it. Um, this is a pretty crappy lock by master standards. Um, the actual lock itself uh, is very well built. Um, overall, it was kind of a bugger to mill off the little bolts here um, and make it so that uh, I could actually open this thing. Um, that said, with the with the bolts milled off, um, the plate pops right off, the lock core comes straight out. Um, there's only this one little plate here, and I mean, it's a pretty thick plate, so, and I mean, otherwise it's a standard, you know, master lock. Um, it's just, th they're pinning, I mean, totally phoned in, totally phoned in pinning, um, totally stupid. Um, it's a very easy lock. At any rate, I milled it out ahead of time because um, I didn't really care about it. The bidding on this lock isn't horrible. This pin here is kind of in the way of these two, but these two, you know, pins three and four, you barely even have to touch the damn things. Um, and that's key code 3039, I guess. So if you ever see a master lock with 3039, yeah, just, just avoid that. I, I, I don't even know if there is a good way of doing a key on this particular master lock um they're all standard pins there's no security pins or anything so i'm gonna pick it and i'm gonna gut it um this is my first video for this sort of thing i hope it comes out okay i don't even know if it's recording audio right now um but let's just uh let's just go straight to it uh it's pretty easy to to get into uh, so i'm gonna reach back and i'm gonna find pin number four I'm applying medium heavy tension. There's no real need to do anything fancy with it and just find something that clicks. Um, the pins are very small, very close together. There's one. There's one. There's one. I'm kind of using a crappy. Okay, just. just if you don't get it right off the bat, just reset. There's no real reason to spend a whole hell of a lot of time trying to fix anything. Like I said, there's no security pins. Um, I kind of lighten up on the tension to get one pin. And then I'll find the next one in the stack. There we go. Oh, did the shackle come open? I had it. It didn't take long. You can actually, I got this thing to the point where I could zip it and, um, and get it to pop open with almost no effort, like less than a half a second to, uh, to get this thing going. Um, there's one. Oh, but I didn't just break it again. So the reason why I ended up undoing this lock and drilling out all the holes and everything was because I noticed flashing a little light in there that one of the springs had actually worked its way, the end of one of the little pin springs, um, worked its way around the driver and was kind of caught uh, inside the keyway. And that, that's a pretty big fail as far as I'm concerned. Um... You know, I, I definitely would not recommend anybody ever buying one of these locks. Unless you don't care. And I flipping did it again. Are you serious? The spring does not work on the shackle. I think I lost it. So the shackle doesn't pop when I turn it. So now this is like three three times I got to pin this stupid thing. Uh, okay, so one there. One there, one there, one there, back to four. Uh, 
I'm going to hold on to the damn pry bar this time. I pretty much use mostly Peterson tools. Um, I tend to like the way they feel. Uh, I used to use Southern, but they just they got so damn expensive. And then the Max series came out, and they're also very very thick. Uh, they don't have what I would consider a thin pick. You know, this is a this is a Peterson uh, uh, hook one in fifteen, uh, so point zero fifteen mil or inches. Uh, and you can see how the core just really slides around in this damn thing too. Um, but anyway, once, once I get this done, I will take it all apart. Um, I'm not doing this for any kind of demonstration or anything, so I'll probably edit out some of my other fails or I'll just do like a montage of the various screw ups that I've done at this point. Why wow, don't don't stay working on it if it screws up on you because it ain't worth it. Um, part of the problem with this lock is that the cord does move around inside the lock body so much, it makes it really a pain in the ass um, to actually pick. There we go. Okay, now I got it pinned. Pull the shackle. I'll just show that. Shackle's pulled. We'll come back over here. I can let that go now. The shackle's out. So, yeah. The lock sucks. <laughs> and I had to fix it. Alright, so. Let's go ahead, ah, and I forgot to bring my cutters, for the dummy. Yeah, I got no idea where my wire dikes are right now, that's just brilliant. then let's get a pin tray swallower C clip remover Phillips head screwdriver that should be all I need I'm probably forgetting something that I'll have to track down in a hunt, but whatever. Let's cut this friggin' thing open. And as you can see, the the back plate is pretty thick. Um, but it is, I mean, it wasn't very hard to mill it out. Um, but that was mostly the end pieces here. The metal itself cut very easily on it so yeah um, that's it it is a very 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 tiny core um, let's see what do I have good for scale well, I mean most most everyone knows what a the size of a master key is uh, you know for one of their locks uh, the core is Not letting me turn it right now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it sucks. So I am going to do a full gut on it. Um, there is no C clamp. I just remembered on that. It's literally just a pressure fit kind of thing, um, which makes it even worse. Um, the other bad part about it is that there's no real way 
to have this thing come apart and have it be, uh, I guess you could say good. Um, so I'm just going to put the pins off to the side here. Uh, I want them to stick with the follower because I, I still don't want a pin explosion here. Um, so I got my key pins are right here, driver pins are right there. Hopefully we shouldn't have anything explode here. And it does take a little bit of force. Well, to get it out. Oh, stupid thing. This is going to explode on me, I know it. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I gotta turn that like that. Alright. So here we go. Master number five get. That doesn't want to fit in there. I kind of figured that hole would be a problem. Alright. So we are just gonna gut it. Uh pin by pin. So, we got one standard pin for four, and a tiny ass spring. Come on, get in there. Stupid thing. All right. And, whoop, shoot. Another pin. We're just going to pull the drivers out and pull the springs out. Have a good old time. A lot of tension on these springs in there. Um, it's a small Bible, and you know, half of the Bible is already a pin. So, yeah, that spring is pressed in there pretty tight. Um, and then, boop, go. We'll pull the last driver pin out, and the last spring. Alright, that was the one that was kind of in the tube originally, I think. You can see how the bottom of it's kind of screwed up. Part of it was sticking out into uh, the shear line, and it was causing all sorts of nastiness to happen. Um, so, yeah, um, let's just dump these out. There is one... Two wants to be a problem. Let's... There's two, and three, and four. Alrighty then. So, one thing I noticed about these, um, besides being all standard pins, is that their drivers are, I guess you could say, super flat on the sides compared to some I've seen. Um, there is still a little bit of a rounding, and you can kind of still see it there. Um, but, I mean, these are literally, like, just machine cut, run through, probably just tumbled or something to take the edges off, and that's it. So... But yeah, for the person that wanted to see the inside of a Master Number 5 gutted, um, here you go. Um, I'm not even going to bother. I, I don't even know if I'm going to put it back together or not. Uh, and you know, of course, there's nothing in the core. It's, it's all rough cut, sharp edges. Kind of crappy. Really crappy, I mean. But let's be honest, it's Master Lock. Um, yeah, and it's just press fit little copper sleeve all right so there you have it um thanks for watching